Hey Budget Squad, welcome or welcome back to my channel. I am so glad that you decided to join me for another budgeting adventure. In today's video, we are going to be budgeting out my February paycheck and creating my March budget. If you are new, welcome. My name is Summer and I'm currently on a financial journey to pay off all of my debt while saving money at the same time. Here on my channel, I am documenting my journey to financial freedom and I make videos on budgeting, saving money, paying off debt, and pretty much anything money related. If that is content that you're interested in, go ahead and give this video a thumbs up and definitely consider hitting that subscribe button to join the budget squad. I would love to have you become a part of the family. I do budget using a zero-based budget and with the help of the cash envelope system. If you are a returning subscriber, thank you so much for coming back and joining me for another video. I truly appreciate your support. I am really excited to be filming today's video. I know that I've been gone the past two weeks. I did go to Nashville with some friends and then my mom was in town the last two week visiting. So I just took um, the time off to spend time with my friends and family, but I am so glad to be back. And I'm so happy to be budgeting out my February paycheck and creating my budget for March. So let's go ahead and get into today's budgeting with me video. If you are new to my channel, I do budget using the budget by paycheck workbook by the budget mom. And I do share my real numbers with you. I am a teacher and my income is public record. So I do go ahead and share that with you. If you are new to budgeting and not sure how to create a budget, the first step that you want to do is you want to go ahead and list out all of your income so that you can get your income total. I do have my teacher's salary go into two separate accounts. The first account got $6,807.47. And then I do have $400 um, put into my super savers account, which is a savings account that accumulates a little bit more interest than your typical savings account. It accumulates um, 6.5 interest. And then I do have other income of about $500 that comes in a month. So now that I have um, my income sources, let's go ahead and calculate that to get my income total. $6,807.47 plus $400 plus $500. So my income comes out to $7,707.47. And I'm going to go ahead and put that number on this line. I did get a question in my last video um, because I did have my other income last month at $700 and someone asked how I was able to increase my income from $500 to $700. I am able to increase um, my income. I am a teacher and I am a teacher, but I am a special education teacher and I do do some tutoring. I don't tutor a lot because I don't have a lot of time. Right now, I only tutor one person, which is where the $500 a month comes in. Sometimes if um, someone needs like short-term tutoring, like last month, I will tutor someone um, short term in the area of math or reading. So that's how I was able to increase my income. But I'm really not wanting to do a whole lot of tutoring because I just don't have a lot of time. But it is nice to have that $500 a month. I also want to address a comment that I received on my February 2024 monthly budget with me. Um, it said, you make almost 100000 a year, but 56% of your monthly income goes to mortgage slash HOA. Wow, you must be really secure in your job and financial backing. About 90% of your pay goes to fixed and variable expenses minus your $150 investment. That's incredibly high. 
why not cancel some of those subscriptions and shift that 5% to investments so it can actually grow or debt repayment where it can actually save your money. And it did get um, a like um, from someone. I'm not sure who liked it, but someone did. So first part, um, I do make over $100,000 a year. The income that I do share with you guys on my channel is from my main source of income, which is my teacher salary, and then I do include this $500 um, because this has been very consistent. I have been tutoring this person for a while. However, I do receive other income that I do not share with you on my channel just to um, protect me and just for um, privacy issues. Like I do not share the income that I bring in from YouTube or other sources of income that I have. I am very secure in my job and financial backing. Um, I have been a teacher for 14 years. I do work in um, a very good district. I am a tenured um, teacher, so I definitely have job security. And at my job, I've just seen my income continue to go up. In my district, I get about a $3,000 raise every school year. Um, I think... Starting next year, I'm going to be on a two-year freeze, and then it will pick up again. Um, we are on a um, step system. And then also, I do have the ability to teach summer school, which brings in um, more income. 90% um, of your pay goes to fixed and variable expenses, minus 150 investments. Um, that's fine. I'm not here... Um, asking for suggestions. Um, finance is personal and how I choose to spend my money is how I choose to spend my money and it's what works for me. What works for me may not work for you. You're just going to have to look at your finances and your financial situation and um, come up with a plan. But I am sharing my journey on my channel and it's just that my journey. I do not want to cancel any of my subscriptions and I am really happy with the plan that I am on. I have been budgeting for about three years now. I've made a lot of growth and I've had a lot of accomplishments. I did purchase my condo last year and that was a big accomplishment. My The purchase of my condo was a little bit more than what I wanted to pay. However, I do live in California and the cost of living in California is extremely high. However, I'm not really concerned about my mortgage payment because it's not going to be a forever payment. I do want to pay off my mortgage quickly. And then also when I did um, buy my house, I knew that my mortgage was going to be a fixed amount each month. My HOA did go up. That was not expected. However, my income does continue to go up. So I was comfortable with my purchase amount. So I just wanted to go ahead and share that with you guys. I know that I don't owe you an explanation, but just in case someone else was wondering the same thing, I just wanted to take the time to explain that. So now that we have my income total, let's go ahead and budget out my fixed expenses. Fixed expenses are expenses that tend to stay about the same every month. I went ahead and wrote out my fixed expenses, but I will go over that information with you guys. My mortgage is $3,927.97. My HOA is $475 a month. My sdg e bill, which is my gas and electric, is $91.88. My cell phone is $147.59 a month. My internet is $65.95 a month. I do have an instant ink subscription for the ink for my printer, and that is $6.99 a month. 
USAA is for my car slash home insurance. That is $105.89 a month. I do have an Epidemic Sound subscription, which is $17.99 a month. I do have an unlimited car wash subscription, which is $34.95. My son does take piano lessons, and that is $105 a month. I do have an Orange Theory membership, which is a gym membership, which is $169 a month. I am a member at a local winery in my area, and that is $25 a month. I do have a Peloton spin bike and the monthly subscription for the app is $44 a month. I do invest with American Funds and I invest $150 a month. Apple, which I think is for my son's cell phone or Apple Watch is $51.39 a month. My student loans are $87.41 a month. I have a personal loan, which is $249.72. I have an Audible subscription, which is $14.95. My Best Buy credit card is $29. I do have iCloud, which is extra storage for my cell phone, which is $2.99 um, for supplies. I budgeted out a hundred dollars and I do have a WW subscription, which is $23 and 99 cents a month. So now that I have all of my fixed expenses, let's go ahead and add up my fixed expenses to get my bill total. $3,927 and 97 cents plus $475 plus 91 and 88 cents plus $147.59 plus $65.95 plus $699 plus $105.89 plus $17.99 plus $34.95 plus $105 plus $169 plus $25 plus $44 plus $150 plus $51.39 plus $87.41, plus $249.72, plus $14.95, plus $29, plus $2.99, plus $100, plus $23.99. So my fixed expenses come out to $5,000. $926.66. I'm going to go ahead and put that number on my bill total line. So now that we have my bill total, let's go ahead and take my income total of $7,707.47 and subtract my bill total of $5,926.66. So that means I am left over with $1,780.81 after paying all of my fixed expenses. Now that I have budgeted out my fixed expenses, the next thing I need to budget for are my variable expenses. Variable expenses are my cash envelopes and variable expenses do change month to month. They can fluctuate depending on what you have going on. So let's go ahead and put the leftover amount of $1,780.81. I have the following variable expenses that I budget for every month, food, gas, fun slash entertainment, health and beauty, guilt-free, and household. For food, I'm going to budget $540. For gas, it's going to get its usual $300. Fun slash entertainment is going to get $75. Health and beauty is going to get $250. Guilt free is going to get a hundred dollars and household is going to get a hundred dollars as well. So now that I have my variable expenses budgeted, let's go ahead and add up those to get my envelope total $540 plus $300 plus $75 plus $250 plus $100 plus $100. 
So my envelope total comes out to $1,365. So let's go ahead and take my leftover amount of $1,780.81 and subtract my envelope total of $1,365. And that means I'm left over with $415.81. The next thing that I'm going to budget for is sinking funds. Let me put the leftover amount first. I am going to give my travel sinking fund $400. I'm going to be going to Chicago um, this month with some friends. I'm really excited about that. So I'm going to go ahead and set aside $400. I know it seems like I've been traveling a lot lately. I do not travel. I am really excited about this trip. I have been able to travel most recently and it has just been a blast. Previously, I didn't do much traveling. In December, I did go to South Carolina to visit my sister and mom. Um, in February, I went to Nashville. And then this month, I'm going to be going to Chicago with some girlfriends for St. Patrick's Day. So I'm really excited about that. So my sinking fund total comes out to $400. So if we take $415.81 and subtract my $400 for my traveling sinking fund, that means we're going to be left with $15.81. The next thing that I'm going to budget for is extra debt payments and I'm going to make an extra debt payment to my Best Buy credit card in the amount of $9.95 and that should pay off my Best Buy credit card. That is going to be amazing when that is finally paid off. So it should be paid off this month. So my extra debt total comes out to $9.95. So if we take my leftover amount of $15.81 and subtract my extra debt payment of $9.95, that means I'm going to be left over with $5.86. And I'm just going to keep that $5.86 in my checking account as a buffer. So my extra saving total is $5.86. And if we take my leftover amount of $5.86 and subtract my buffer of $5.86, that means we are going to be left over with $0. So that is how I get a zero based budget where every dollar is accounted for. And you can check to make sure you have a zero based budget by taking your income total, then subtracting your bill total, then subtracting your envelope total, then subtracting your sinking total then subtracting your extra debt total, and then subtracting your extra savings total, and that amount should come out to $0, which it does. So that is a look at how I budgeted out my February paycheck. Because I get paid the last working day of the month, my February paycheck is going to cover all of my March expenses. Well, thank you so much for joining me for today's video. If you made it to the end of this video, please leave a green heart in the comment section to let me know that you made it to the end. I really like to engage with you guys in the comment section. So if you have a comment, leave that in the comment section. Or if you have any questions, leave that as well. Or if you would like me to make videos on a particular topic, leave that in the comment section as well. Well, I hope that you guys have an amazing day and I look forward to seeing you in my next video. Bye. But before you go, don't forget to like, comment and subscribe. It definitely helps out my channel and I truly appreciate your support. Mm -hmm.